Hello and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And we're back with another Saris fluid. Nice. It's my favorite fluids, maybe. <laughs> They're like the most interesting, usually. Yes. Although CSFs, I think one of my best fluid stories is a CSF, but um, plurals and plural serous fluids, they tend to give you goods. Mm. So we're here on low power, and I can see the cellularity is not particularly high, a little bit of red cells, some nucleated cells. And funny enough, Melissa put the slide down, and we're like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have kind of a, a larger something. We kind of know what it is, but for now, <laughs> we get a larger something. Yep. Um, but even on this magnification, it doesn't look menacing. Right. It just right, looks right. like a clump. Yeah. Yep. And and the yeah. other thing is it doesn't look like a 3D ball. Yes. So, so cancer okay. is one of those things <laughs> where normal physiological cells might just throw in sheets. Cancer is like, I'll do what I want. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a real blobby, three-dimensional. Sometimes it cheats, sometimes it's blobs. <laughs> yep. Well, let's like, see what else we can find. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Scan, scan, scan. Definitely not a lot of cells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always try to, like, generally correlate my cell counts. Mm -hmm. um, to what I'm seeing. Someone tells me like, oh yeah, that was like a 20,000 cell count. And I put this slide down and I go, oh. <laughs> and they go, oh, it was a dilution. I go, okay, all right, I can mm -hmm. buy it. it was a dilution. So look at that, huh? Ball of something. Ball of something indeed. It still doesn't really look 3D from up here. Great. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep scanning. Mm -hmm. This is the end of this row. Oh, there's so, another clump. So Melissa talked about 3D. So one of the ways that you can kind of tell that it might have some uh, depth to it is uh, be really, really dark in coloration. So you get like darker spots and stuff. And so as the light path has to pass through more uh, cells, more stuff, you get that really deep, dark kind of coloration <laughs> meso. look at the beautiful meso maybe meso maybe cancer who knows yeah but it's beautiful either way it is there's another ball let me bring it in a little bit more mm -hmm. yeah so my thought so far is that there's probably a fair amount of mesos Oh, yeah, there's a couple more balls over here. Yeah. All right, let's go back to that other one. And then drop down to it. Sounds good. This one. Mm -hmm. Wrong direction. Eh. There we mm -hmm. go. Yeah. So this is only on 40. Mm-hmm. But just kind of looking at it again. Yeah. So some stuff I don't like. Um, but Let's go down to 100. And look more. Yeah. So it still really doesn't look quite 3D to me. Right. Yeah, agreed. Um, but I guess I I'm agree. less intimidated, but it, there's some stuff that's like... You know, the windows aren't quite as defined. Yeah. Yeah, so typically with the with mesothelial cells, um, where they contact each other, it'll have some kind of a window where you can see clearly, like the cell's boundaries stop and the next cell starts. 
Um, not completely clear. Um, so I also try to be really sensitive to um, the nuclei being kind of uniform with one another. So after all, these are all kind of like generally like sister cells with each other. So they should look relatively similar. Um, I think overall, all I can say is like, I'm on guard, I guess. Mm. Um, but yeah. yeah. And the, the safest thing with things like that is if you don't feel comfortable, just leave them for path. Absolutely. And path yeah. can make the decision and path can come back and say, these are mesos and we can say, okay, cool. Yeah. But if it's something that looks concerning, you know, our job is to be that first line of defense, so to speak, where we mm -hmm. identify what's not poss possibly not normal. Yep. And then yep. it's Pat's job to be the one that says, yeah, this is not normal or no, this is fine. Right. We get paid so, the big bucks. Yeah. So I would agree that this clump doesn't look quite nice. As I want my meso clumps to look. I was just looking at it in the microscope to see if it was much different. It's not really. It's not quite right. as dark in the microscope. It's a little bit mm -hmm. darker on here. Let's see. Good. There we go. Looks like the it's like a, a neutrophil just gets back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's not quite as dark, but he's still not like I still don't see the quite defined windows of the mesos. Mm -hmm. I'm less intimidated by it. So they're probably just a clump of mesos. Yeah. But it's something that I might still send to path just for confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's Look around. Oh, baby. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to lower the light a little bit. <laughs> <It's> the cytoplasm. <laughs> the cytoplasm's there now. <laughs> but it was gone when the light was that high. <clears throat> some, of, some of the slides are probably getting a little, little old too, huh? Oh, there um, we go. <laughs> oh, cool. Much better. Um, so we got some lymphocytes hanging out with red cells. Mm-hmm. A nice neutrophil. Beautiful. Yep. Another lymphy. Okay. Hmm. So probably a um, mono Mac, I guess. Um. It looks so lumpy, bumpy. Yeah, I'm just comparing. Could the, be a lens. I'm just comparing the chromatin patterns to think about it. So yeah, on the chromatin pattern, Melissa's point, it's it looks just like the lymph next to it, right? And mono is typically more lacy, and uh, yeah. so kind of a it, this is where you have like a cell that's like telling two stories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I would go with the lymph only because of the chromatin. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Again. There's no mommas around. Not close enough anyway. You know what? Let me do this. This is as good as we're going to get to this. So. Yeah. And These are so the monos. Much more obvious. Yeah. And then, oh, no, no. This is the limb. This is it. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I think yeah. you're probably right. Yeah, I think so. You've convinced me. Um, but this field here is awesome. So you can actually see in a more direct way, we can contrast the different chromatin patterns, right? Yep. Yep. And then... Ah, beautiful okay, looking meso. I was trying to get him and the mono in the same field, but I don't think mm. it's going to happen. <laughs> Still, it's just beautiful mezzo. Um, I love it's doing like everything I want it to do for the mm. most part. It's yeah. got that frayed kind of edge, all this, this fraying and stuff over here. Beautiful. Um, 
NC ratio. Nucleus looks a tad big, but still uh, well within tolerances for me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Nucleus is nice rounded kind of contours to it. Mm. A little bit of that fried egg kind of kind of look to it. Right now. Let's see what else we can find. And then a nice single look mezzo. Not in a in a giant clump of them. Are there more? Mm -hmm. Lymphies, monos. Yep. Okay, I think I'm going to move us around a little bit, bring yep. us back, because I feel like we're off in Never Never Land right now. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. I think I want to go find one of those clumps. Sure. Right. Yeah. I'm going to change and go back to 10 so I can locate it. So this is a great strategy to use on not just body fluids, but just on a lot of different um, microscopy technique. Sometimes you just gotta uh, come to lower power, um, reorient back to iron mag. It's not quite as bad when you, <laughs> I'm doing it by myself, she, but she, when she, I have to play with the light and it's a little bit yeah. more challenging, guys. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and her field of view is different than what the, the video, the, um, a camera sees so yeah she's got the hard job i just sit here i get the easy job in so yeah um you know uh it looks like like these can be um kind of like old cells so i say that because um i feel pretty high degree of confidence that they are in fact mesothelial um uh, well, so I, I don't know if they're malignant or not, right? So that's still in question. But like, they look a little old. They look like they uh, might have sloughed off uh, the tissue a while sloughed ago. Off. Maybe they just sat in the tube for a little bit too. Yep, that could be. Yep. So sometimes things get collected and hang around a little bit. Yep. And Happen sometimes too... Through the physicians order something and then they want to add on a cell count and stiff afterwards. And so we're doing it not during the ideal time to do it <laughs> right after collection. We're doing it four, five, six, eight hours later. Yep. It's not ideal. Absolutely. But I will say I do like these as mesos as compared to the first clump because I can see the windows more clearly here. Yes, very true. So like we can literally just trace lines through and and we can draw if I could draw <laughs> draw clear borders yes. and boundaries. Yeah, I can't draw point. either. But like if we're just following along them, like you can really see the definition between each of them. Like I can even see that the squeeze is in here and then kind yeah. of comes out a little bit. Like you can really see the defined borders here. Yeah, I agree. It's a good thing. All right. And then I know there's another clump over here. Let's see if I can find it without. Oh. Nice, nice meso hanging out. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And like, I love the little blubbies coming out. Mm -hmm. Ha! <laughs> she did it. <laughs> she did it. Oh shoot. So um yeah, I would say that we we're we still have like some pretty good um like separation. One of the funny things is there's like there's cells in here. So this appears to me to be like a macrophage. Um yes. it looks like we have a neutrophil. Yeah, I'm going to smush them there, too. Um, also, it looks like this one's macrophagy here. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. 
So it's kind of a mixed, uh, mixed chunk. And and then even look at the, the red cells that are, mm -hmm. you know, hard to say, are they been phagocytized or are they just kind of mushed into this clump? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So I think it's um, totally fine to have a path look at a fluid like this and say, hey, mm -hmm. you know, what do you think? Uh, I'm unsure. Mm -hmm. Um, if I had to bet money, it's probably just like older kind of junkier cells. Yeah. Um, I don't see like clear indications of malignancy. No, I agree. I think they're all mesos, but I don't think it hurts to send it to path if people are unsure. Absolutely. So, you know, don't hesitate just because you're unsure. I mean, the other thing too, is if you're newer or just trained on body fluids, ask a lead or a senior tech and say, Hey, can you look at this for me? I mean, you can ask another tech, but if you're asking somebody just as inexperienced as you, you're not going to get a whole lot from it. So ask someone you can learn from, be that as, as lead, a senior, or someone who has a lot of experience or path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, Absolutely. I think that's a, a good um, practice. The other thing with this slide in particular is that you, if you're just leaving it for a path or if you're trying to point somebody to this and you're not just saying, hey, look at this into the oculars that you're looking at, you'd have to really write down that they're looking at the clumps of mesos because the mesos aren't evenly spread throughout, but there's a low cellularity. So the people reviewing the slide would have to know that they're looking specifically for clumps of mesos, not just cells spread out throughout the the whole slide excellent point right like um we want to try to focus attention for people yeah and what yep. what it is we're really concerned with yeah 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 but otherwise i think that's everything for this video so thanks for watching thank you for your time